as a Drupal site administrator, it's really important to take backups frequently. So how to take backups in Drupal? One way is to uh, go to your FTB and phpMyAdmin and then download all the files and export the database. Drupal has a module called Backup and Migrate, which lets you download entire code as well as the database so that you don't have to spend time in opening the FTP and downloading the files uh, because backup and migrate it creates an archive of all the files and the database so it is really a very fast process so you just have to google go, uh, drupal space backup migrate or you can directly go to drupal.org slash project slash backup underscore migrate so once you are there you'll be shown this page you can just scroll down a bit and then so you can just download the version 7 for drupal 7 and uh, you can upload the files after um, decompressing it um, into your web server in inside sites slash all slash modules folder so once you have done that you will be seeing that in modules section and you just have to enable it after enabling it you will be shown the backup and migrate option in the con configuration so the url of the configuration is drupal org website slash admin slash config and then you can just click on it and here we can see we have the option of backup my default database so in case you just you want just the database to be downloaded then you can just select the default database if you want the entire website to be down, downloaded which means that all the core files and database then you have to select that and to where now either you can download it to third party um, hosting service let's say node square L or AWS or you can just download it immediately onto your system you can check it, check this option of uh, saving the extra copy to the offsite space so it can be AWS it can be any web server and then if you want to make a note of it then just enter details about it now let's say something got wrong and uh, and you want to restore the old settings then as so, as long as you have access to this backup and migrate utility you will be able to just restore it by by browsing the backup file and uh, restoring it so there's the option of taking the website offline so during the restoration process if you want um, the user not to see or not to be able to make any changes then you can just take the site offline for a few minutes to a few hours depending on the kind of time um, this utility is taking and if you want to see all the saved backups so all the saved backups which are there in the server will be shown over here schedule so in case you want uh, there, there has to be a schedule or a frequency set uh, for the backups just to make the backup process automated we can add schedule so it uses these uh, cron services so you just have to define time to it so let's say we have we have to enter this schedule name then what is the source oh, it could be anything default database then what is the frequency of it let's say one days one day and then what is the destination so if the destination is your web server or any third party service or either it is an email or FTB directory then you just have to provide the details and uh, the backup utility will take care of it then we have settings 
So essentially, if you want to learn it quickly, just go to your backup, download the backup database or the entire site once in a while, let's say once in three days or once in a week, depending on how frequently changes happen on your website. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from Being Skilled.